Not killed Paul. <laughs> Why would you ask me that? <laughs> I always wondered. And when, when Paul's car was blown up, everybody suspected you. And, and the way you left town certainly made you look guilty. I went looking for my son. <laughs> oh, come on, Craig. You left Oakdale because you knew you'd be arrested. And, and I, I thought you were guilty, and I hated you, but, but now, you know, there's, there's a part of me that almost understands. As much as I'd like to take credit, I did not try to kill Paul. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> I'm positive. Though, lately, I've been wondering maybe if Dusty did it. Dusty? He hated Paul just as much as I did. Dusty was nowhere near Oakdale. He was looking for his son. We don't know that. He went to a lot of trouble to fake his own death, disappear. But actually, we have no idea what he could have accomplished. It's getting late. I really have to go. But Meg, thank you for your offer to make peace. And I wholeheartedly accept. And congratulations again on the little one. Mm. You know, if we'd had our baby, our lives would be so much different now. Well, I guess that wasn't meant to be. But I do hope we can be friends again. Penny, if you ever need a godfather. I, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. I'm uncovered. Worth a shot. Take care of your little angel. I really tried, Dusty. I'm so sorry it didn't pan out. Me too. After everything you've been through, you deserve not to have to worry about Johnny anymore. Thanks. Mm. <laughs> you know what? We should get Eliza and Johnny together for a play date soon. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Okay. Hey, Eliza, we're gonna go home now. Be safe. Bye. Bye. Oh, hey. Hey. I wasn't expecting you. Um, your mom said that I could stay. Uh, is there an emergency? No, no, no emergency. I just, I brought the divorce papers and I'm ready to sign it. If that's what you really want. She's asleep. That's good. I don't want her to watch your parents officially splitting up. I can't believe you're making this so easy. I thought our lawyers would be hashing this out for you. I never meant to make you crazy. That was my job, right? I'm the crazy one. Don't say that. I just couldn't do it before. I'm sorry. I needed some time to get used to the idea that you and I are over. This isn't easy for me. Look, if you need more time, no, I... No, I want to get it over with. Last thing I want is to prolong losing you. I do wish that... I know I've done too much damage for you to forgive me. You know, maybe once the divorce is final, we can put all that behind us. I have to ask you for something. I need some kind of access to Eliza. I need some kind of visitation. Losing you is one thing. Please don't ask me to lose my daughter, too. She can eat all that? Well, we'll see. She gets pretty hungry when she wakes up. Takes after me, I guess. She takes after you in every way. Well, I, I never wanted to deprive you of your child or deprive Eliza of her father. I just want to keep our daughter safe. I know. I haven't been behaving like a father, but I'd like to be the kind of father that Eliza's proud to have. I'd really like to be the kind of man that you fell in love with in the first place. We can't get that back. The divorce is something that I'll have to learn to live with, but please don't ask me to live without Eliza. 
Okay, look, if you stay this way, rational and reasonable, we'll talk about visitation. Okay, that's all I'm asking. But our marriage is over. Beautiful. Daddy's got lunch. <laughs> <laughs> 